What's up everybody, my name is Samsung Sass. Welcome back to yet another amazing tutorial on on Photoshop with Armstrong Sass. Well, I've been doing so much live vlogs and many other freestyle videos. I've I've almost abandoned Photoshop. But today we are gonna to be teaching you on how to get this guy in glasses. Because I wear glasses anyway. So a lot of people have been asking me how to get this guy in glasses, how to work on a picture with glasses, because sometimes it can really get complicated. So this is me showing you how to do this. Well, if, if it's the first time I've come to the channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and um don't forget to leave a comment. If you like any previous video, if there's any video you want me to do, please don't forget to talk about it because what you say is what I really do. Your wish. A smart command. I think that's basically all. I think we should hit right to the intro. Okay, so guys, this is a picture of Ola Milikan. I think that's his name. It's a Yoruba name. I don't know. He's a producer. It's a movie producer. So this is a picture. I got it. I got it off Instagram, and it's actually a little bit clear. I only just turned up the image resolution. I will go to image. I go to the image size. Then I look at the resolution. It's 300 here. So I, th I don't think it's bad actually. Well, if it's the first time I've come to this channel, I have a lot of videos about how to get um, this done, how to get cartoon pictures done from beginner to advanced so i think you should check out previous videos like this up click up and then you see this one and other videos without wasting much time the first thing i want to do is to duplicate this picture with ctrl j and i'm going to i'm going to mention in some of the controls i've said that a million times but i'm still going to be doing that then i'll go to image i'll go to adjustment i'll go to shadows and highlights I'll, now there's something a lot of people ask me i'm strong as my picture very very realistic it does not look like a painting now one of the reasons why it feels like that is because the shadows and the highlights looks very real now that's what removes realism from the picture so now i'm going to reduce the shadows a little bit i'll take it up like this i'm going to zoom out with control space now for new systems you can pinch on it to zoom in and zoom out if the screen touch and photoshop just made it a whole lot easier now watch what i'm going to do i'm going to reduce the highlights a little bit here you see it has popped up it has removed the unnecessary highlights it doesn't look like i've done much here actually once i press ok and then i'll show you the difference of before now you see before now this looks like a photograph and this looks a little bit a little bit unreal so that's why we do this now the next thing i want to do is to cut out this picture from the background now cutting out this picture from the background is quite tricky sometimes so i think i'm going to have to fast forward it i'm just going to this is what i'm going to do i'm going to cut out the picture like this watch the spend two out. i'm going to cut it out like this and then when i get to this place i'll cut outside the, the glasses and then the cheek and the beard and then i'll cut it down like this and i'll meet you before i get to join it so i'll show you for those coming for the com coming to this channel for the first time how to go about that Okay, so getting to this place for those that are just coming to the channel for the first time because you really cannot be so sure. So I'm going to press Ctrl and Enter to select this and then I'm going to press Ctrl J to duplicate it. That has created a new layer over here, layer 2. So I'm going to turn off these other ones to show you that it has taken out from the background. Now when you're working on glasses and any part pops out from the picture into the background over here, sorry this part over here now this part will be deleted this particular part here will be deleted now when you have a glass that comes out to the background anything that involves the background should be deleted as well so that's what i'm going to do now with the pen tool i'm going to select this part i'll select this part and delete it from the picture now sometimes when you when you are done doing 
um, deleting it from the picture you'll notice that your final results can get can be a little bit fake and but then there's always a way around it so if make sure you stick to this to the end of this video and i'm just gonna show you other tricks well the video might be a little bit long but it's it's all for for a due cost okay so after this i'm gonna press ctrl j i want to make this image sharper for what i want to do press ctrl j and then i'll go to vivid light i'll go to filter i'll go to order i'll go to high pass and i want to make this picture sharper so i'll make it um let's say uh, 1.5 doesn't look bad uh, let's say make it 2.5 and i'll make it or press ok i'll press ctrl enter to merge the both of them so i'll show you what we have before and now it doesn't look like it's too much but coming closer you see before it's a little bit blurry and now now i want all the details i want for the glasses now this is the next thing i want to do i'm going to cut out all the components and then for the glasses i'll do so as well so i'll start from the glasses here i'll come to this place i want to cut it out from the picture from the face it's actually part of the face but it's like a distinct feature of the face so so i'm just going to cut it out like this and come over here and just um do this like this watch properly i'm just basically selecting out the glasses from the face but when i get to the part where it goes outside i would okay now i'll get to this part where it goes outside and then i'll select this part and select this try to dis differentiate between the face and the body it would it would make the glasses come out distinct distinctive because when you add colors to the face and the body you end you notice that it has to pop the glasses has to really pop now a place like this sometimes it, it affects the body looks like it's part of the body so you be very careful and you assume that probably the glasses has started from here and then sorry with alternate you can take back the pen too and probably choose something like this not bad not bad at all I'll choose something like this yeah and i'll select the glasses now selecting the glasses is very beautiful so i'm just gonna select this i'll press ctrl enter i'll press ctrl j to put a new layer i'll name this glasses glasses yeah so now this is what we'll have i'll turn this off and this is what we'll have so this is what i want us to do I want to select the lenses this place but i'll show you something if i pick the smudge brush for example this is a smudge brush smudge brush i use if you don't know if you have never seen it it's in my video description i'll pick the smudge brush over here and i would probably try to smudge this place now this is the layer i chose this is the let me i'll name this four layer for layer now this is a brush i'm trying to smudge this place you notice that nothing is working the only part working is this part above it now this only the part above it here is really working nothing is working on the glasses layer this is because the glasses is on a new layer over here now when you add colors to this place i notice a lot of people do a lot of things like this probably i want to add um, yellow color to the glasses and i'll add this and this is what we'll have it's affecting the eyes some people actually wear glasses so a lot of people do these things and they are like i'm strong what do you think about it i don't know why i can't get the face color now this is me showing you how to get all these things done so i'm going to turn this off and the next thing i want to do is cut out this picture from the face so i'm going to come over here and take this out well people told me that i talk a lot somebody said i talk a lot and that the videos are very very long and i'm like okay so a lot of people are saying they like the videos long a lot of people are saying i should probably keep it very long and some somebody is coming and he's saying well the, the videos are awfully long i don't know i should make it shorter actually you really cannot do what everybody says because you are just going to end up dead you're as good as dead so i'm selecting this now i'm not deleting that from this place watch what i want to do i'm going to duplicate it here with ctrl j i'll come over here still i'll select a new layer watch this 
now i'm going to select a layer i'm, I'm going to select this part out here first i want to delete this part out because it came out it came out to the background so i'm going to delete this part out but it's not just deleting the layer now that is the thing now watch i'm going to delete this part over here i'll press ctrl enter to select it and i'll delete it from this main layer from the glasses layer i'll press ctrl d to deselect then i'll come over here still to create another false lens i don't know false lens glasses i don't know something like that so i'm just going to come over here to create a new one now doing this i press ctrl enter and i'll create a new layer here choose any color you want and press ctrl alternate and backspace to, to put the layer in the the color in the layer is selected now this is what i want to do i'm going to turn off this other one so you see what i'm doing actually now this is the both of them this is the both of them that i worked on now these are the lenses the two lenses on the picture so this is what i want to do i'll select the both of them and come to the glasses layer and delete it now there's a little error something i want, really wanted to correct now the reason why i'm not selecting this part and coming here to delete it is because it's going to delete a part of the glasses so that's why i had to delete the face i had to take it out from the face before i put a new layer here because it was going to take out this part of the glasses but you can delete everything and later add this part of the glasses but i just chose to delete this part of the face face then add the glasses you can have different techniques to do the same thing and just to come out very very perfect so that's that's basically the trick i use so i'm going to select this part and come over here and delete this I know it might sound confusing, but basically what I did was to select out the two lenses, glasses, and delete it out from the main frame. It's just like every other regular thing you do. But this pre time, I'm just trying to be tactical about it. Now, these two parts, I'm going to merge these two layers. These two parts, layer 5 and layer 6, I'll merge them together and name these lenses. I don't need them, so I'm going to turn them off. So this is what we'll have. Well, the picture, the picture system is normal, but this, this time we have this and then we have this. Now, the reason why I'm leaving this lens is that I named that lens is because I can create a new layer here after all and probably choose um, the brush tool to add a little flare to the picture. I'll turn this off. Um, Probably, now I want to add this glass, this thing about glasses, thing about glasses to the picture. Now, I can make it, I can make it say, 20 and then add this part but see it's it's everywhere now i can make it confined to this part by clicking the lenses with ctrl and click and then ctrl shift i to inverse and delete the ones outside now when you inverse you can delete the ones outside and half only the ones inside and then now it looks like a proper glass although this this doesn't look very real but i'm showing you why i had to leave the one for the lenses so yeah that's that now the next thing i want to do is now um for glasses like this they are a little bit complicated so what you want to do is to oil paint it mostly so i'm going to turn this off little lenses and for this i'm just going to do a very very quick smudge on the face uh, i have a tutorial on how to smudge those guys from zero to hundred just in case you I'm not sure i'm supposed to cut out each component out but because of the sake of this tutorial i'm just going to leave it and just merge this and just do a quick one i'm just going to work like a pro i watch you have me because i'm going to have to fast forward this part so it doesn't turn out bulky and probably someone doesn't come out saying hey i'm strong you talk too much i don't know what's wrong with you okay actually first the person said well it's so nice to see a nigerian making a youtube video on photoshop and i was like oh wow this is too much then a day later he came out saying i'm strong you talk too much and i'm like i thought you praised me a few hours ago what happened now why why are you against why are you against me if you're for me be for me if you're against me be against me I, it was crazy but however i think i think i like the fact that we we are actually standing up a lot of young people are standing up to what they're supposed to do 
I know I'm going to talk too much. I don't know. I really like it when I talk and gist with somebody that I'm not seeing. And just imagine that maybe somebody watching the video, somebody from India. I have quite a lot of India friends because of YouTube. I have quite a lot of them. Hi, if you're from India, if you're from Philippines, if you're from Nigeria, because this is my domain. So if you're from Nigeria, hi, hello. If you're from Philippines or um, wherever, the United States. People in the United States are more like the big guys. They really, really don't get involved with them. Um, love i don't know they do photoshop but it's mainly for photography or they do pure sketches you know i don't i don't think they, a lot of them do manipulations i may be very wrong anyway but then i've been searching or surfing youtube and i've not found quite a lot of them doing that tutorial so i don't know mostly people from the other part of the world okay so yeah i've talked enough so i'm just gonna fast forward this and i'll meet you in a little bit Okay, so I'm not taking out time to make it extremely smooth or clean or sleek. I'm just before and now. You can have I have a lot of videos about how to smudge, but today we're talking about glasses. Now, if you don't have oil paint on your system, there are two ways you can work on this thing. First, I'm going to duplicate it and of course clip it. You know how I clip, yeah? Just just in case I'm not fast forwarding. I can right click and go create clipping mask or or I would I'll do this, press alternate and go in between this line that demarcates them and press alternate. While holding alternate, you can press click and then it clicks. Now there are two ways to do this. First, you can use your smudge brush and clean this out. You know, just take out the blemish, make it look nice and sleek. And but you need to be super careful. And that's one of the ways you can do it. And you can just work on this like this. Another way is to use the oil paint. Of course, I think oil paint will be a lot easier because the picture has quite a lot of blemish. So I think we should use the oil paint. So I'm just going to turn this off and press Ctrl J. Well, you can if you don't have oil paint, there's no need to worry. Most especially when you're creating, when you're working on glasses, you can. This is okay. This is for the oil paint. You can. So I'm just going to name this glasses smudged layer down name this glasses or a painted layer so for the smudge layer i can come up here and just keep smudging this thing but make sure it looks nice and sleek don't don't make it don't probably smudge like this and take away the what makes the picture nice no you don't should not do that you should just probably smudge along the axis something like this just make it look beautiful and i think the glass is a very nice one and it's a tricky one as well that's why i decided to use this picture because i think the glasses is a, the glass is a tricky one the lenses i don't think these are lenses i think they're fashion glasses but however i think this is one way and then the next way is to use oil paint so there are always different ways you can use oil paint you can go to if you if you are you can go to stylize and then oil paint is great a lot of people ask me how do you work on this without oil paint how do you do this without oil paint well oil paint is great out to all my system that's why i have down here photoshop cs6 well you can get photoshop cs6 you can send me a message on instagram and i can share you my photoshop cs6 otherwise you can download from different websites like getintopc.com i've talked about that in my different videos and now let's get over to photoshop cs6 so this is photoshop cs6 sometimes people ask me i'm strong how is it possible to switch over to from photoshop cc17 to photoshop cs6 well i just close it from cc17 and open it on cs6 it's very easy there's no trick it's not like i'm a magician Although I am sometimes. Well, this is for the smudged glasses and then for the 
for the glasses that you're going to be oil painting so i'm going to filter to oil paint now this is photoshop cs6 you can easily do this but with better systems and with i have a laptop that can actually do this but for the sake of the for the sake of people that really don't have um laptops to do that i i still stick with this one to make videos that everybody can relate with uh, i don't know probably i'm a good samaritan so this is what i'm doing with the glasses i'm just going to take down the shine go up to the stylization and i want to make it i want to make it sleek but i don't want to make it too fake so probably the cleanliness um um this is not bad I don't mean to, I don't think this is bad because it's a separate part of the of the picture so you really don't want to make it look um yeah this is not bad this is okay actually so yeah this is not bad so I'm just going to press okay now take it's going to take me right back to the picture I'm going to compare it with the smudged paint that smudge painted picture so this is for the oil painted glasses and this is for the smudged paint so which do you prefer I think um the one for the oil paint looks cleaner and this is a little bit better well this is what we we'll have now this is what we we'll have and you can just keep doing other things and checking it's always a thing of practice but now what i really want to show you is how i really get all these things done so over back to cc17 i can work here but i think for photoshop cs6 it's not stable on my system i don't know for some reason it's not stable but i'm just gonna okay let's let's try if it crashes then we'll go back to photoshop cc17 now for this picture i'm going to create a new layer here and i'll clip it in here i'll name this layer i I'll come over here and add the color of the eyes now the color of the eyes that I want to probably put in remember this is a rough sketch this is probably this might not really be the picture you see on my Instagram because I'm gonna be taking a lot of time to make the picture on my Instagram now I can pick a color probably add something bluish here for the eyes and I'll press alternate and backspace to add the color go to um go to color here ah this looks this looks too fake like it's from mass demand from uncle uncle yeah this doesn't look bad doesn't look bad so i'm just gonna pick another color here and put it in the next eye color now i want to put the eye color to show you that um even with the glasses you can still have that why i actually differentiated that so alternate and backspace to add the color here but now uh, something different something little extra i used to do i'll pick the color of the eyes here and try to paint over the spots not make it look too much probably select um 50 as the opacity and paint over the spots now i really don't want to okay now this doesn't look so good this eye doesn't look so good but this doesn't look bad at all so that's not bad then probably select um red something reddish for the eyes i'm taking too much time on this if you want to know how to add colors there are big videos on how to add colors but still i'm just doing this to show you it's all a means to an end what you can add for the leaves, the eyes, and other things later, but this is the, our focus today is on just the glasses. So I'm going to pick a color for the face. Okay, the next video I'm going to be doing will be how to, how to add colors on the dark skin and normal skin and other skins. Okay, now this doesn't look real. I'm not going to choose the color that came with the picture for reasons like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this color. No human being is this orange so i'm going to take it slightly up a bit i don't make it so much yellowish and this so let's see oh uh, this color is not bad not bad but okay okay for the sake of this video let's just use this color and let's see let's see where it goes but i think for the glasses needs a little bit of retouching so you can use your smudge brush and probably make all these parts smoother make it smoother make it better you can just keep working on this thing there's no limits to it you can keep working on it until you get something final now this is what we we'll have for the glasses you can just pick um or 
dominant color here and it's 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 yellowish probably a little bit of yellow yeah something like this so i'm just gonna press color now this will have you can leave it at this or not or you can probably um select a layer mask here click here to select a layer mask and choose the brush to probably unmask some parts to make it look nice now to make the glasses blend in the picture sometimes this is what you do you select a color under the normal now this is the i'm going to rename this and name this um glasses color then in this place i'm going to name it um face color now remember this face color is in the glasses region now i'm just going to select the normal face color where the swatches okay so i'm just going to come over here the color i'm going to make it i'm just instead of doing that i'm just going to come over here and pick a face color here and press other and backspace to select that now come over here and name it color now it's not showing because we have something on top of it so now the next best way to do it is now this is the what's what's this called again it's called the um, vector max now the vector max once i delete this color over here once i delete once i erase this with a black brush or something once i erase this the color that shows underneath is the face color so that way it blends into the background now if i take off this face color you notice that the one we are seeing is the previous color from the previous picture before i added this color on the face so that's what you want to do you want to add a normal face color the new color you chose for the dominant face and put the glass color on top then you can erase some parts to blend in with the face color if that makes sense if if you really really get, understand what i mean so yeah that's that so this is what we have well it looks like an 80s picture but that is the point we're driving at so yeah this is what we have now if you if you feel like you made a mistake that's why we have this you can always turn the color from black to white and with a brush too you can as well just paint over this part i'm just going to show you any part you paint over it comes back to life any part you paint over it comes back to life so that's one of the big advantages of this of using uh, the vector max what's this what's this called the vector mask i was right so using the vector mask now this is what we have now you can just keep working on it now for the last tip the last tip of the iceberg on how i work on these things so sometimes you have this picture and the glasses has come out separate from the face a lot of people leave the lenses inside that's why they have something like this you know it's it's the same color of the picture and it doesn't just make any sense now this is what i want to do i pick the lenses here and i want to add a little shadow a little um light shadow on the picture to give it this nice sweet feel that yeah it's a glasses it's somehow it looks nice so something i formed by myself i don't know i don't know if that's the right way to do it but then i just i just did a practical and then it worked and i'm like oh okay i'm going to be using that so probably pick a light a part that light actually falls on it should not be too much probably make it 20 and just give him this fake light lighting ish on his picture and then probably make it 90 make some parts very high and do something now just work on just do something something that would make the picture make it look like yeah this picture came out from somewhere and it's nice and it's like this and it's like this well this is what we have now so i'm going to press ctrl d now i would move this and have this well this is what we have forget about the lip forget about other parts of the body i don't want to tutorial to be very long but yeah this is what we have so this is how to work on the face on the glasses well i don't know if it's if it's 
very very nice it doesn't the picture doesn't look very nice to me but yeah this is how i would normally work on glasses well you can just keep working on these things and to add probably further touch to the picture you can come over here and with the bond tool you can just burn this part of the glasses to give it this realistic look and to show that yeah light really falls in here and light does this and does that and beautiful so yeah this is one of the ways you can work on this and you can as well just come come over here to where the eye is the eye color we don't want to make it so sharp so we can just reduce the opacity to show that yes um light is really falling on this part and this is good so this is how i work on pictures and how, how i work on this well sometimes you might really not like the color of this you can make it black i want to make the glasses black for example i'll just come over here and control alternate to add the black color and come over here to color and this is what we'll have it doesn't look like it's very very good but you can as well just tweak it to what you want so i think this is basically all about how to add glasses to this if you would not want to know how to add colors and you want to know how to be good with colors and you want to know how to smudge there are other videos to teach you all these things i really don't didn't want the video to turn out to be a 45 minutes tutorial video for once i'm strong your video should not be 45 minutes for once so this is me teaching you how to do these things if it's the first time i've come to the channel if you love the video if you're watching it off in off youtube or if i don't know if you like the video or something please don't forget to leave us a comment i think i prefer a comment to a subscribe so but please don't forget to leave a thumbs up i would really really appreciate that so until we meet in the next video please drop a comment on what which what video you want to see until we meet in the next video stay creative bye bye